Hey guys, I'm outside of my local Walgreens to show you the deals that are good June 21st through June 27th. Okay, heading into Walgreens this week, there aren't that many great deals. Not as many as last week. They had some really, really, really good ones. This week is kind of touch and go. Not to say that there aren't any, but not that any that I'm impressed with. Unless you happen to get one of those really cool coupons that said five off when you spend 10. I got a five off when I spend 20. My son got a five off 20. My daughter didn't get anything on her card. So we're gonna start over in the laundry section. Arm & Hammer this week is buy one get one free, making them just $3.50. PRX is also on a buy one get one free deal, making them just $3.50. All laundry detergent, normally priced at $6.79, is now just $2.99. Check your digital account, there is a $1 off. I actually have one that says $3 off when I buy two. So if I buy four, that will be $4. They will take off $3 using that two off three coupon and I will pay 50 cents for each one or $1 for both. Okay, over on Renews It's, I'm not sure how good of a deal this is. I don't use these, but they are two for $3. This week in our app, there are two coupons for these. The first one is buy four, get two free. So if you buy four and get two free, that would be six, I'm sorry. Yeah, $6 instead of $9. There's also another coupon in your cart that says, when you buy six, take off $2. Now both of mine say manufacturer coupons. They are different things. So if they do work together, you would pay $4 for six by clipping both of those digital coupons to your account. There's an also an I bought a cash back on this. I think it's $2 off when you buy five. And the fact that you're buying six, you're definitely buying five. So that would be an additional $2 coming back to you from I bought a cash. Okay, the deal continues also this week on the Palmolive Suavitel as well as the Fabuloso. She noticed the Palmolive is sold out. I guess it sells out every time it comes in. But when you buy two, you get 2,000 points and they're $1.99. I am not going to use my card today to buy anything. My save five when I spend 20 because I'm actually getting coupons this week and I want to do that Dove deal, which I'll show you in just a little bit. So I'm gonna pick up some Fabuloso, use that $4 register reward that I got last week because it's going to expire today. So other than paper products, we do have some, but the ones that are on sale are completely gone. This week, the six equals 24 rolls of Charmin toilet paper. Oh no, it is there. It's $6.99. When you buy two, you get a $3 register reward. This isn't a bad deal. If you were to like have a register reward like I have, technically I could buy two. I could use my spend 20, get $5 off, and I could have toilet paper because I can get uh, two. There's a limit of two. Or I could get one of these and I could get a bounty. The bounty is completely gone. They are four equals eight rolls. Same deal there. You can mix and match or buy the same, but the limit is to making for a decent deal if you need to stock up on your paper products. Home Complete Paper Towels and Toilet Paper on sale this week, normally priced at $5, just $3.49. Select Crest on sale this week for $1.99, not yet marked, but when you buy one, there is a dollar digital you can clip to your account and you will get a $2 register reward. Okay, there are two deals going on over in Colgate. When you buy the Colgate 360 um, for $4.99, which is marked down, normally priced at six dollars and 79 cents or the colgate optic white advanced for 4.99 you get a three dollar register reward for your next purchase the other deal going on in colgate is when you purchase a colgate this week priced at three dollars and 99 cents this is the one exact picture they're marking the store now haven't quite gotten to it also it can include the colgate 360 that's also marked for 3.99 this week when you purchase two you get 2,000 points okay guys i am so completely confused over here in the crest station because when i checked the sales ad it looked like if you purchase one crest for 2.99 that you would get a two dollar register reward which i do believe to be true so in addition to that on the crest products which are also 2.99 as well as 3.99 when you buy two participating crest or oral b products you will get 4,000 points. There is a digital coupon you can clip to your account. I think I have a $3 off two. Yes, we do have a $3 off two, so you can do that one. Or you can do $1 off one, purchase one, and get a $2 register reward for purchasing one. If you are venturing out into the sun, 
don't forget the sunscreen. In Neutrogena, there are several deals going on this week. In Neutrogena, it is buy one, get one, 50% off. The one that I would probably use would be 100% right there. I don't want any kind of burns or anything. So $11.79 plus the one at half off would be $17.09. Check your 621 retail me not for that $2.50 off coupon. Use two of those, you will pay $12.08 or about $6 a piece. Not a bad deal considering they are $11.79. Okay, and Hawaiian Tropic is also doing the buy one, get one 50% off. They've been doing it for a while, but right now it's a great time because of the coupons that we got in the 621 Smart Source. Another $2 off coupon for the Sun Care Hawaiian. I'm going to use the same sample of $11.49. If you purchase two of those, they will cost $17.24. You will use two $2 coupons, making it $13.24 or just $6.62 each. Another pretty good deal is going to be on the Banana Boat sunscreen. I'm doing the one that's $11.49. So if you do one at $11.49, buy one, get one 50% off. The cost will be $17.24. In the $6.21 Smart Source, there is a $2 off coupon. Use two of those, making it $13.24 or just $6.62 each. Okay, quick deal over in diapers this week. It appears that the Pampers are still two for $18 or $12.99 each as well as the Pampers Easy Ups and Pull Ups. So if you buy, come back to this right here, three participating Pampers products, you will get 6,000 points. So since you're going to buy them, no matter what, they don't care how you pay for them. As long as you buy three, you can actually use points. So if you purchase two packs of these, there's a $3 digital coupon you can clip to your account, taking off $3. And if you get the Pull Ups, there's another $3 digital coupon you can clip off your account. So 18 and 18 for four packs is $36. You're gonna use two of those three digital coupons, one off the Pampers, one off the pull-ups or easy ups. That will take your total down to $30. Since you're going to get 6,000 points just because you're buying these things anyway, why not use 6,000 points? If you have them, take the total down to $24 for four packs. I think that's a pretty good deal considering they charge $12.99 per pack to begin with when they're not on sale. I'm not sure how much of a deal that is, but anything is better than retail. This is a deal I'm definitely going to come back and do as soon as I get my coupons. I am back to getting those. I'm pretty excited. I'm still going to continue to do the digital deals so everybody can do those. Right now, it doesn't look like a lot of people have their coupons because we still have quite a bit of Dove body wash left. So the deal is when you buy two, you get 50% off the second one and you also get a thousand points. Thousand points is just kind of like a bonus. I'm excited about the coupon though that we got in this week's insert that is buy one, get one free. However, we don't know what percentage or what amount that coupon is taking off. It says up to $6. So here's the scenario. One is $7.49. One and a half is $3.75. The total would be $11.24. Use that buy one, get one free coupon. If it takes off $6, it would be $5.24 for both. If not, and it prorates or does whatever and just takes off $3.75 for that second lower one, you're still only paying, was it $7.49 for both of them or $3.75 a piece? Another mention is I'm definitely going to come back and do this still later. I'll try to remember to show you how it works if you don't get out before I do, but I see a lot of different scents that I haven't seen before that I want to try. So yeah, I'll try to come back later and show you this deal if nothing else. Okay guys, over in cereal, not such a bad deal going on. Not the best, but you never pay retail, remember? Okay, so Kellogg's cereal, normally priced right here at $4.29, is now two for five, making them just $2.50. In the $6.14 Retail Me Not, there is a dollar off of three. So if you buy these in increments of six, you will save a total of $2. There's also a sale going on on the Quaker cereal, $1.99 if you look at those posts. I know that in the 614 Smart Source, there is a dollar of two Captain Crunch, which would make them just a dollar 49. Can't pass this deal without letting you know, Maxwell House Coffee, the big 30 ounce is $4.99. Okay guys, I think this is definitely a deal worth mentioning. Right now, canned meat is really hard to find. It's getting a little bit more scarce, so you find it where you can. Right now, Bumblebee Chunk Light is 79 cents per can and i think it's the five ounce that's what it looks like if you bought 10 that would be seven dollars and 90 cents i'm just saying that to compare it to what it is star kissed at one of the major box wholesale stores that we have has a 10 pack for nine dollars and 28 cents 
So a 10 pack for $7.90 at Bumblebee. I'm not sure if we're comparing apples to apples or apples to oranges, but it's still less than $9.28. Not a bad deal on canned tuna. Not yet marked, but they're getting to it. They're working quickly to get all of the prices posted. Dixie Bowls and Cups are buy one, get one free this week. There's a 75 cent off coupon that you can clip to your account. Again, coupons are smaller. What happened to the dollar off? It is what it is. Okay, so at 75 cents off, you would pay $3.24 or just $1.62 each. Sodas on sale this week, normally priced at $6.19, just three for $10.99, making them $3.66 each. Arizona drinks still on sale, two for $1. Okay, guys, I kind of got sucked into a deal. I didn't plan on it, but here's what happened. I came across the toilet paper and the all detergent and some really good coupons. So, you know, the deal with the Charmin and the um, other paper products is $6.99 this week. I think it's on the Bounty for a pack. Yeah, but they didn't have Bounty. I'm okay with Charmin. Limit of two. Perfect. $6.99 is $6.99 for the Charmin is $13.98. I'm trying to reach 20 because I have a digital coupon that says when I spend 20 I will automatically get $5 off. I then purchased the all detergent. They're $2.99 each, which brought my total to $19.96. $19.96 is not good enough for Walgreens. I have to hit that 20. Well, I found these three little baking pans, which are perfect because I can make meals in them and perfect for one size and I can take them for lunches and freeze the other half. So my total is now at $20.96. My five for spending 20 is going to come off. It will then be $15.96. My $3 off for buying two all will come off. It will then be $12.96. That register reward that I was going to use for Palm Olive, I held on to it. I'm going to use it for this instead. That will come off. All of this will cost $8.96. I won't get anything back. $8.96 is not bad when normally that's what they charge for one Sherman toilet paper. Okay, I'm in my car and here's my receipt. I purchased two Shermans at the advertised price of $6.99. Two all detergents and one GP foil baking pans. My five off for spending 20 came off. My three dollars for buying two all detergents came off. And my four dollar reddish reward from last week came off. Eight dollars and 96 cents, just as I said. And I got a three dollar reddish reward for purchasing two packs of toilet paper. All right, guys, so those are the Walgreens deals that I think are pretty good this week. I will come back later and do that duck deal when I get my coupons. I want to see how that works. And depending on how well it works, I might do it more than once. Until next time, guys, be happy, be healthy, be safe. Happy couponing.